Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision IGCSE. It's a classes for GCSE student. So today, just uh, interestingly, we will discuss the difference between the GCSE and IGCSE curriculum. GCSE curriculum is a UK based or the UK government has regulated their education system in, in terms of GCSE and completely regulated by the UK government. And on the other side, IGCSE is regulated by Cambridge Assessment International Education. How they assess the differently in the GCSE, they have a assessment based on the exams curriculum give the worksheet then they have a regular mock test based on that they assess the student but in case of igcse they have a more of exam oriented they 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 put forward the syllabus for the student and they assess the student based on the igcse then grading system in gcse basically you have a grading from 1 to 9 9 is the highest one top grade and in igcse basically it's a a, A star is top one and lowest one is G. Nextly, international recognition. GCAC is within the framework of UK government. So it is recognized in UK only. But compared to IGCAC, IGCAC is internationally recognized from any country. If you pursue IGCAC or AS and A level, you can recognize it as an international student because you are compared with the international student. Then nextly, availability. GCAC uh, schools are available in UK, but IGCAC schools are available in around 169 countries so such a wide scope is there for IGCSE and the subjects so for GCSE you have a limited number of subjects as well compared to IGCSE IGCSE having more than 30 40 wide range of subjects are there core and extended syllabus is there for each and every subject if you want to choose let's say math score so just a basic version of maths but in case of extended version of math if you take then it's a little bit higher version of maths and you will get the event bit of tough questions as well and that's it if you like this video share with your friends as well thank you bye bye